The 1930s marked a decade that gave birth to some of the most iconic and exquisite automobiles in the history of the automotive industry. During this era, design reigned supreme, and manufacturers were pushing the boundaries of engineering and imagination. The cars of the 1930s were masterpieces, from the graceful contours of the Bugatti Type 57 SC Atlantic to the luxurious curves of the Cadillac V16. In this captivating video, we will take a journey down memory lane and revisit some of the most beautiful cars of that era. We will delve into the intricate design elements that made these cars unique and special, including the elongated hoods and flowing fenders, the intricate details, and the sumptuous finishes. We will also explore the fascinating history behind each vehicle, examining how they were built and what made them stand out from the rest. Whether you are a fervent car enthusiast or merely appreciate beautiful design, these vintage photos are bound to fascinate you and transport you back to a time when the automobile was more than just a mode of transportation, it was an emblem of luxury and elegance. The Rolls-Royce Phantom I Junkier Coupe is a legendary vehicle celebrated for its unique and breathtaking design. This automobile was crafted by the Belgian coach builder Junkier in 1935, utilizing a 1925 Rolls-Royce Phantom I chassis as its foundation. The design of the Phantom I Junkier Coupe is distinguished by its aerodynamic and futuristic shape, which was ahead of its time. The vehicle's sleek, elongated body is accentuated by a tapered rear end, a pointed nose, and a low roofline, giving it a sporty and aggressive appearance. One of the most eye-catching features of the car is its massive, curved windscreen, which flows seamlessly into the roof and creates the impression of a single, unbroken piece of glass. To accomplish the car's unique curves and contours, Junkier used aluminum to construct the bodywork. The interior of the Phantom I Junkier Coupe is opulent and lavish, with luxurious leather seats, plush carpets, and an abundance of chrome and wood accents. This car was commissioned as a one-of-a-kind masterpiece for a wealthy European family, ensuring that no two Junkier Coupes are the same. The Bugatti Type 35 is a legendary race car that was manufactured by Bugatti at their Molsheim factory between 1924 and 1930. It gained immense popularity as it proved to be incredibly successful when raced by the factory works team. However, it wasn't just limited to the factory team as a diverse range of privateer clientele from around the world also purchased this iconic vehicle. It was the first car of its kind to offer a holistically designed, race-ready vehicle available for purchase. The car's design is truly emblematic with the arch-slash-egg-shaped radiator and the iconic tapered stern, also known as the Bordino tail. It's believed that Ettore Bugatti was influenced by the earlier Fiat 804 driven and modified by Pietro Bordino. The Type 35 is also renowned for being the first car to utilize cast alloy wheels. The success of the Type 35 was unparalleled, with over 1,000 race victories to its name. It was the winner of the Grand Prix World Championship in 1926, having won 351 races and set 47 records in the two years leading up to it. During its heyday, the Type 35 averaged an incredible 14 race wins per week. The car also proved its dominance at the Targa Florio, winning the race for five consecutive years from 1925 to 1929. In conclusion, the Bugatti Type 35 is undoubtedly one of the most successful and iconic race cars of all time. Its design, innovation, and dominance in the racing world have solidified its place in history. The Dwesenberg Automobile and Motors Company produced a luxury automobile known as the Dwesenberg Model J between 1928 and 1937. This car boasted a massive 6.9-liter straight-eight engine that churned out an impressive 265 horsepower, making it one of the most dominant vehicles of its time. With such power, the Model J was capable of reaching speeds of up to 119 miles per hour, an extraordinary feat for a car from that era. One of the remarkable features of the Model J was its opulent styling and luxurious amenities, including a custom-built body, lavish interiors, 
and advanced engineering features such as hydraulic brakes and four-wheel independent suspension. The car's exceptional performance and elegant design made it a favorite among Hollywood celebrities, wealthy socialites, and industrial tycoons alike. Despite its steep price tag, the Dwesenberg Model J was a commercial triumph, with around 480 units produced during its production run. It remains a symbol of the golden era of automotive design and engineering excellence. Carlo Felice Trossi, an accomplished Italian racing driver and engineer, collaborated with the Mercedes-Benz design team to create the 710 SSK Trossi Roadster. This remarkable vehicle was based on the already high-performance Mercedes-Benz SSK sports car. The Trossi Roadster was powered by a 7.1-liter supercharged inline-six engine that was capable of producing 300 horsepower. This made it one of the most powerful cars of its time. In addition, the car boasted advanced engineering features like a four-speed manual transmission, hydraulic brakes, and a torsion bar suspension system. However, what truly made the Trossi Roadster stand out was its striking design. Its sleek and aerodynamic appearance was achieved through its long hood, flowing lines, and low-slung body. At the time, there was no other car on the road that looked quite like it. The car's unique styling elements, including the vertical grille and the exposed spare tire, quickly became defining features of the Mercedes-Benz brand. Daimler-Benz AG created the Mercedes-Benz W25 as a racing car specifically for the 1934 Grand Prix season, a year that saw the introduction of new regulations but no championship event. The W25 underwent modifications and improvements, eventually leading to its successful use by Rudolf Caracciola to win the 1935 European Championship. The W25 continued to be used in races until 1937, with further modifications made to enhance its performance. Its successor, the Mercedes-Benz W125, took over its racing duties in the following year. Citroën Traction Avant, manufactured by the French automaker Citroën from 1934 to 1957, is a range of mainly four-door sedans and executive cars. It was the world's first mass-produced car to feature a front-wheel drive, unitary body, and four-wheel independent suspension. The car's name, Traction Avant, means front-wheel traction, highlighting its front-wheel drive power delivery. Although front-wheel drive and four-wheel independent suspension were already introduced in the mass market by Auto Union and other automakers, the Citroën Traction Avant was the first car to incorporate these features into a mass-production, crash-resistant, unitary, monocoque body. This innovative design allowed the car to have a much lower profile and stance, setting it apart from its contemporaries and making it visually striking. Moreover, the Citroën Traction Avant was an early adopter of rack and pinion steering. During its production from 1934 to 1957, around 760,000 units of the Citroën Traction Avant were produced. The range comprised of models with four or six-cylinder engines, mainly four-door saloons and executive cars. In conclusion, the Citroën Traction Avant was a groundbreaking car that revolutionized car design and production. Its front-wheel drive, unitary body, and four-wheel independent suspension were features that set new standards in the automotive industry. The car's unique design, with a lower profile and stance, made it stand out from its contemporaries. The Auburn Speedster, an American automobile, was manufactured by the Auburn Automobile Company in Auburn, Indiana and Union City, Indiana. Production spanned from 1928 to 1936, and the company produced a total of 887 cars, which were categorized into three series. The first two series, produced from 1928 to 1930, were equipped with eight and big eight engines, while the V12 series was manufactured from 1931 to 1934. The most famous and iconic of the series was the Supercharged 8, which was produced from 1935 to 1936. Under the hood, the Auburn Speedster featured a water-cooled inline 8 4.6-liter engine, which generated up to 150 horsepower. 
This powerful engine allowed the Speedster to achieve a top speed of 104 miles per hour, 167 kilometers per hour. Stylist Alan Leamy designed the first two series of the Auburn Speedster, while the 1935 Auburn 851 Speedster was styled by renowned designer Gordon Beerig. Beerig was also responsible for the design of the Cord Model A10. The 1935 Auburn 851 Speedster was an instant classic, and Al Jenkins set a record by breaking 70 American speed records in this car. Crafted by the renowned German designer Friedrich Geiger, who also created automotive marvels such as the Mercedes-Benz 300 SL Gullwing, Mercedes-Benz W113 Pagoda, and Mercedes-Benz 600 Limousine, the 540K Special was an exceptional creation, with only 32 units ever manufactured. Powered by a supercharged 5.4-liter inline-8 engine, capable of producing up to 180 horsepower, the car was not among the fastest automobiles of its time. However, it stood out for its size, luxuriousness, and being one of the most expensive cars that money could buy in the 1930s. In 1937, Reichsmarschall Hermann Goering commissioned a 540K in his favorite shade of Luftwaffe blue, with his family crest adorned on both doors. The car featured armor-plated sides and bulletproof glass, and was affectionately named the Blue Goose. Goering was frequently photographed in the car, and it became one of his most prized possessions. On May 4, 1945, during World War II, the 101st Airborne Division Screaming Eagles of the U.S. Army, C Company, 326th Engineers, entered Birch Teskaden and took possession of the car. It was later used as Major General Maxwell Taylor's command vehicle in West Germany until it was commissioned by the U.S. Treasury. Shipped to Washington, D.C., the car was a part of a victory bond tour that successfully toured the United States. In 1956, the U.S. Army auctioned the car off at the Aberdeen Proving Grounds in Maryland, and it was sold to Jacques Tunick of Greenwich, Connecticut, with a high bid of $2,167. Auto Union's Horch Works in Tvikau, Germany developed and built the types A to D of the Auto Union Grand Prix racing cars. These cars were built between 1933 and 1939 by a specialized racing department. The company acquired the design by Dr. Ferdinand Porsche in 1933. Out of the four racing cars, types A, B, and C, were used from 1934 to 1937 and featured supercharged V16 engines. Meanwhile, the Type D, the final car used in 1938 and 1939, was built in accordance with the new 1938 regulations and had a supercharged 3LD V12 engine that generated almost 550 horsepower. The power-slash-weight ratios of all designs were incredibly high, making them difficult to handle. At speeds exceeding 100 miles per hour, 160 kilometers per hour, they could induce wheel spin, while their uneven weight distribution caused marked oversteer, all models were tail-heavy. However, the Type D was easier to drive due to its smaller, lower-mass engine, which was better positioned towards the vehicle's center of mass. Between 1935 and 1937, Ernst von Delius, Tazio Novellari, Bernd Rosemeyer, Hans Stuck, and Akil Varzi drove auto unions to win 25 races. The 1936 and 1937 seasons proved to be particularly successful for auto union. The Mercedes-Benz team was the main competitor of auto union. They also raced sleek, silver cars known as the Silver Arrows. These two German teams dominated Grand Prix racing until the outbreak of World War II in 1939. Undoubtedly, one of the most aesthetically pleasing automobiles ever created, the Talbot Lego Teardrop Coupe was a masterpiece designed by Giuseppe Figoni, who was considered to be one of the most accomplished French coach builders before World War II. Exemplifying the essence of Art Deco, the T-150 CSS was affectionately named Good Doe, Teardrop, due to its circular shape and alluring curves. However, the Talbot Lego Teardrop Coupe was not solely designed to be a visual delight. During its time, Talbots won numerous competitions, including the French Grand Prix of 1937. 
In fact, a standard Talbot teardrop even competed in the 1938 24 hours of Lou Mann's race, finishing third overall. In 1937, the Bugatti Type 57 SC Atlantic set a remarkable speed record of 124 miles per hour, 200 kilometers per hour, and only four units were ever built, with just three surviving to this day. The car's incredibly lightweight build, at just 953 kilograms, was achieved through the use of aluminum and wood in its body construction. The supercharged inline a 3.3 liter engine boasted an impressive 210 horsepower, delivering over 220 horsepower per ton. The Atlantic models were based on the unique Aerolife prototype, also known as the Coupe Special or Coupe Aero. Jean Bugatti designed the chassis number 57104 with an electron sheet body, made from an alloy of 90% magnesium and 10% aluminum, typically used in aviation. Although the Electron was lightweight and durable, it was a difficult material to work with and could not be welded. As a result, Bugatti opted to rivet the body parts together, creating the famous dorsal seam. For the production Atlantic, aluminum replaced the Electron sheet but the dorsal seam was still riveted. The model was named in honor of Jean Bugatti's friend, Jean Mermoz, a pioneering aviator who was the first to cross the South Atlantic by air. Sadly, Mermaz did not return from a South Atlantic crossing in 1936. The Alfa Romeo 8C was a collection of road, race, and sports vehicles produced by Alfa Romeo in the 1930s. The number 8 in the 8C refers to the 8 cylinders present in its original configuration, which featured a straight 8-cylinder engine. Vittorio Geno's 8C engine was the primary racing engine used by Alfa Romeo from its debut in 1931 until it was retired in 1939. It was an exceptional racing engine that gave Alfa Romeo a competitive edge in motorsports. Besides the two-seater sports cars, the 8C engine also powered the world's first genuine single-seat Grand Prix racing car, the Monoposto Tipo B P3 from 1932 onwards. Its versatility was remarkable, as it was utilized in various vehicles, including the twin-engined 1935 6.3-liter bimotor, the 1935 3.8-liter monoposto 8C35 Type-C, and the Alfa Romeo 8C 2900B Milmelia Roadster. The engine's prowess was not limited to the racetrack, as it was also used in top-of-the-line coach-built production models such as the Touring Spider and Touring Berlin Etta. The Alfa Romeo 8C remains a celebrated model in the world of classic automobiles. The Daimler Company Limited of Coventry, England produced a remarkable sleeve valve V12 engine, known as the Daimler Double Six Piston Engine, between 1926 and 1938. The engine was crafted in four different sizes and exclusively used in their flagship vehicles. One of the distinguishing features of the Daimler Double Sixes, which were produced after 1929, was the inclusion of a chromium bar running down the center of the radiator, setting them apart from the six-cylinder vehicles. Later versions of the engine, made by Jaguar, also sported a similar mark of distinction. Consultant Chief Engineer L. H. Pomeroy, 1883-1941, masterminded the design of the engine with a focus on achieving high power output while maintaining a low level of noise and most importantly, smoothness. Pomeroy utilized the cylinder blocks of two existing 2585 HP Daimler engines and merged them on a common crankcase to create this masterpiece. Introducing the Talbot Lego T150 SS Fagoni and Falaski Teardrop Coupe, a remarkable vintage vehicle that was manufactured in France between 1937 to 1955. The car was ingeniously crafted by the celebrated designers Joseph Figoni and Oviedo Falaschi, who were well known for their pioneering and aerodynamic designs. Under the hood, the teardrop coupe was equipped with a powerful 3.0-liter, six-cylinder engine that could produce 140 horsepower enabling the car to achieve a top speed of approximately 115 miles per hour. The car's elegant and streamlined body was deliberately designed to minimize air resistance and enhance its performance. It was constructed with lightweight aluminum, 
which helped to reduce the car's overall weight and improve its speed. The Teardrop Coupe was widely acclaimed for its stunning appearance and exceptional performance, earning it numerous accolades, including the Grand Prix d'Honneur at the prestigious 1937 Concorde d'Elegance. Undoubtedly, the Talbot Lego T150 SS Vagoni and Falaski Teardrop Coupe is a true masterpiece that embodies the finest qualities of vintage automotive design. In 1938, a prototype automobile known as the Phantom Corsair was constructed by Rust Hines from the H. J. Hines family and Maurice Schwartz from the Bowman and Schwartz Coach Building Company located in Pasadena, California. This exceptional car is a two-door sedan that can seat up to six passengers. Despite never being mass-produced, the Phantom Corsair is highly regarded for its futuristic features and design elements. It has a sleek, low profile and incorporates Ferdin fenders, which were considered groundbreaking at the time. Additionally, the Corsair was assembled using the Cord 810, the most sophisticated chassis obtainable in the United States. The Cord 810 was powered by a Lycoming 80 V8 engine, which also featured front-wheel drive and an electrically operated four-speed pre-selector gearbox. Moreover, the vehicle boasted fully independent suspension and adjustable shock absorbers. Despite weighing a hefty 4,600 pounds kilograms, the Phantom Corsair could reach speeds of up to 115 miles per hour, 185 kilometers per hour. Its modified, naturally aspirated 125 brake horsepower Lycoming engine and aerodynamic shape contributed to its impressive speed. Although it never made it to mass production, the Phantom Corsair remains an extraordinary example of automotive innovation and design.